When I graduated with my CS degree, I thought I was a genius. I'd aced my classes, built the projects, memorized every sorting algorithm like my life depended on it. I felt invincible. But within six months of my first job, I realized I'd basically been training for a completely different sport. Most CS majors make the same mistakes. They figure it out too late, usually right after watching their roommate who barely passed data structures land a better job because they actually knew what mattered. So let's talk about the three things CS majors learn too late. And trust me, your algorithms professor isn't going to tell you any of this. First, stop treating AI like it's your personal coding butler. Look, ChatGPT and Copilot are everywhere. They're fast, they're convenient, and they make you feel like a 10x developer when you're really just a 1x prompter. Here's the problem. If you use AI as a crutch from day one, you never actually learn how to solve problems. You just learn how to ask a robot to solve them for you. You can generate code, but when someone in an interview asks, so how does this work? You're standing there like a deer in headlights. Employers are catching on. They're asking deeper questions specifically designed to expose the I just prompt good developers. AI is amazing for speeding up boring stuff. But if you're using it to avoid learning, you're basically paying for a gym membership and then taking an Uber to the treadmill. Second, your classes are lying to you. CS programs are obsessed with theory. You spend four years learning algorithms you'll use once, if ever. Meanwhile, Nobody teaches you how to navigate a code base that looks like it was written during five different mental breakdowns. They don't teach you how to debug production at 3 a.m. They don't teach you how to write code that doesn't make your teammates quit. Most CS majors graduate thinking they're ready to code. Then they show up and realize they're ready to pass exams, which is about as useful as being really good at Jeopardy. The developers who actually succeed, they're building real projects outside of class. They're contributing to open source. Your degree gets you past HR. Your actual skills get you the job. And third, you need to become a networking demon. And I don't mean the TCP slash IP kind. CS majors love to think this industry is pure meritocracy. Write good code, opportunities appear. Cool story, completely wrong. The best jobs aren't on LinkedIn. They're filled through referrals before they're even posted. But most CS majors treat networking like it's some cringy scheme. So they stay locked in their room, grinding leet code alone. Here's the reality. Every successful developer got help. A mentor, a referral, Someone who said, stop wasting time on that, do this instead. Networking isn't fake. It's just talking to people and not being weird about it. If you're not networking, you're playing on hard mode for no reason. Speaking of building real skills outside your classes, if you're working on side projects, you need authentication. And honestly, building auth from scratch is a massive time sink. That's where Clerk comes in. Clerk gives you production-ready authentication in minutes. We're talking Google, sign-in, email verification, multi-factor auth, all the stuff that would normally take you weeks to build and debug. I've used it in multiple projects, and it just works. No fighting with auth flows, no security vulnerabilities you didn't think about. You drop in their components, customize the styling, and you're done. If you want to actually ship projects instead of spending a month on login screens, check out Clerk. Link in the description. Here's the truth. Your degree is just the entry ticket. Most students figure this out after graduation, after they've spent four years optimizing for the wrong things. Don't be that person. And to make sure you're not, subscribe. Thanks for watching.